Grace Cheatham, Eliza Jose, and Lucy Sullivan of the Ahern Sheehan School of Irish Dance here in New York. What better sign than St. Patrick's Day is just around the corner? Another sign, the return to America of the show known as Riverdance, hard on the heels, as it were, of its 25th anniversary revival in Ireland, which is where Mark Phillips watched them get in step. All right, so let's try this dance out one more time, then let's go back and run it from back here. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. Three, After four, 25 five, six, years, seven, eight, they pretty eight, much have this routine down. But at Riverdance, you keep so dibby dibby dubby dubbing until you get it absolutely right. Now push! Push like last night, push! Porrick Moyles is putting the dancers through their paces ahead of a big night for the show that turned Irish dancing Anticipate. into a worldwide hit. They're back where it all began, back for their anniversary gala on the same stage in Dublin, where Riverdance became an unlikely accidental showbiz phenomenon. Back with a group of dancers who weren't even alive 25 years ago, and back with a new star, a flaming-haired 22-year-old named Amy Mae Dolan, who looks like she was born for it. It's really hard to remember the first time I watched Riverdance or even heard the music because it's literally been a part of my every day since I was born. My you can't remember a world it. where there wasn't Riverdance. No, Dance. that's it. I was obsessed with it. It was just all I knew and all I wanted to do. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen River dance. It was three years before Amy Mae Dolan danced her way into this world that Jean Butler and Michael Flatley stomped their way to international fame during the 1994 Eurovision Song Contest TV extravaganza held that year in Dublin. When the last heel hit the floor, the place went crazy. And when it finished, there was this primal roar as 4,000 people, as one, they jumped to their feet. And the applause, I think, lasted four minutes. So we knew, certainly at that time, what we had suspected could happen, would happen. In here, you get what, 8,000? John McColgan and his wife, Moya Doherty, produced the original six minute and 40 second number. This is really back where it all began. This is it the was the beginning of the next quarter century, century of their lives. You might get her to give me a, a ring, it's Moya, yeah. Then the question was, almost the next day, how do we turn this into a full blown two hour show and have it ready for next year? So how do you do that? Uh, w with a great deal of speed, because... Uh, <laughs> quickly. <laughs> quickly. <laughs> and, and a certain amount of panic. Right. By midweek, we'll be dangerous. If there was any doubt the show would work at full length, it didn't last long. When the run sold out in Dublin, they thought they'd try it in London. It sold out there, too, and was brought back for a second sellout run, even though its star dancer and choreographer, Michael Flatley, had stomped out of the company by then in a contract dispute. You will still be with Riverdance? Uh, yeah, if everything works out by the end of the day, I think I'll have a contract. He sent us a contract with a list of 40 demands that were absolutely impossible to fulfill. So we held the line, and it was a bit like poker. He didn't think we would, but we did. It's a bit of a but risk. Well, um, I think it was a risk, um, but we had to have a firm belief in the strength of the work. We were tested sooner than we would have liked, but we had no option. And where better to test it than the Radio City Music Hall in New York? You're now standing on the stage of the most famous theatre in the world. We did two weeks, which is a big gamble in Radio City. But again, we did so well that we came back and we played Radio City for six weeks. The London audience, the Radio mm. City audience yeah. in New York, these weren't all the 
offspring of Irish immigrants that were coming in. Something happened. Something happened. They're all here for the opening night. What happened was the show took off. You can tell all around river dancers in the air. At its peak, it had three separate companies touring Europe, the Americas, and Asia. You seem to be manufacturing Irish people around the world. <laughs> more, more come out than go in, I think, quite possible. I think it gave Irish people confidence. It was like we have something that's very unique and special and, dare I say, sexy to present to the world. Um, and it, it allowed dancers to start traveling and bring a little bit of Ireland to places like China, Australia, Japan, that maybe it hadn't been to before. And it's borrowed traditions from places it's been. This is what happens when Irish step meets American tap. I wanted the show to say that we support each other and we borrow from each other, giving and receiving from each other culturally. And we respect each other. Well, uh, and broaden the appeal as well. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. It is entertainment. <laughs> It's a long way from Irish dancing's roots in the pubs where the bands still play on a Saturday night and where the floorboards still take a beating. Why this style? All flashing feet and stiff arms by your side? There's one popular theory. The Catholic priests mm. in Ireland just felt like that was more religious and, you know, that kind of stance. And boys but and girls didn't. Yeah. Each other when they yeah. 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 Nobody. Nobody had an expression while they were dancing. It was just their feet were moving. Boy, are their feet moving! The only way to really see what the dancers are doing is to go to the slow motion replay, where the level of synchronized perfection is even more evident. It goes and a one and a two, da, 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 da. Or you take a lesson. <laughs> just, just like that. Yeah. yeah. What's the first thing they tell you about? Irish dancing. Irish dancing. I can show you. It's, okay. um, you stand with your right foot in front of your left. Yeah. And um, heel to toe. And the first thing you learn is to point your toe. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> To complete the circle, the Riverdance 25th anniversary show comes back to Radio City in New York this week. And apparently, it won't end there. Do you see an end to this, or is this going to stomp its way into the foreseeable future? Well, I have booked this venue for the 50th anniversary. <laughs> the Optimist.